Hi guys, welcome to a full face of Canadian makeup. I'm going to be using Canadian brands, some exclusive to Canada, some that are Canadian born, that aren't really that Canadian anymore at all. I did do one of these last year, so I will link to that down below, and I did take a shot of maple syrup, which then made me stomach sick. I'm not gonna be doing that again this year. That could very well be the same bottle, honestly, because I don't really eat, I was gonna say drink, I don't really eat maple syrup that often anymore as a bad Canadian, but very, very proud to be a Canadian. I think it is a fabulous country, not without its faults, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Just quickly, before I get into the makeup, I wanna highlight a couple of brands that I've talked about plenty before, but they are also Canadian, but I'm just doing only makeup today. So the first is Skin Fix. I am kind of grabbed any products from them. Skin Fix makes incredible skincare products for both the face and body. If you have eczema, keratosis pilaris, like chicken skin, uh, they even make a good like chub rub spray if you've got the thick thighs like myself. So they make incredible products. Uh, another brand that I've talked about to death, Marc Anthony. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of their Bye Bye Frizz Serum. Love their curly hair line, and I've talked about all of these products before, but I just wanted to give them another little shout out. Uh, you'll see this in an upcoming favorites video. It's from Cake Beauty. So they're actually owned by the same people who do um, Mark Anthony. And this is their Gloss Boss Dry Styling Oil. But again, I like a lot of their products. I've been loving their foot cream as well. And then this is a newer brand, but also Canadian. And it is called uh, Evio. I used their cream blush in a get ready with me a little while back. This is their rejuvenating mask with cannabis sativa seed oil. I haven't actually had a chance to use this yet, but I did wanna highlight this brand and I have the Kiehl's cannabis sativa oil, which my skin really, really liked. So I think it's really gonna like this too. And then I haven't decided if I'm gonna use this product or not. And this is technically under the Nioid line, but Decium is also a Canadian born brand. And I have reviewed one of their foundations. So I will link to my Canadian brand playlist down below. I did do kind of like a what's new in Canadian makeup a little while back. I haven't done one in a while, um, but I will link to that series down below if you're looking to see more about Canadian brands, but let's go ahead and get into the makeup. First up, I'm gonna be using this Joe Fresh Hydrating Spray. This is their Prep and Prime Spray. Uh, and more recently actually, Joe Fresh was taken out of Shoppers Drug Mart and now I think it's going to be exclusively available online through Shoppers. And then I guess it would also be sold at Loblaws or like Superstore Dominion, depending on where you live. But they're a Canadian brand. I also love their clothes. They make really good clothes. Uh, then I'm gonna be using the uh, Indeed Labs Nano Blur. I think this is one of their most popular products. It is a primer and it says for instant correction and the appearance of skin aging for fine lines, wrinkles, and large pores. So I'm gonna be kind of putting it in the center of my face. I used the Indeed Labs Squalane Oil recently in my drugstore skincare routine, which I will link to down below. I also love their uh, jelly moisturizer. Really, really love the Indeed Lab stuff. And a lot of this stuff is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart, who also does online. Uh, now, if you are an online shopper like myself, I've had such, I mean, I've talked about this before, but I've had such good experiences ordering from the shopper's website. It also just really convenient if you are to pick up like shampoo and conditioner, things you already know that you like, that you don't necessarily need to test out. You still get your optimum points and they have good samples. Uh, and this is a really nice primer because it's uh, blurring, but it's not uh, too silicone-y. It doesn't, doesn't feel silicone-y at all, actually. It's quite lotion-y, but then as it goes on your skin, it kind of thickens up a little bit. Now, for my foundation, I'm going to be using a MAC foundation. If you didn't know, MAC is a Canadian-born brand, which is super, super exciting. I mean, they've since been acquired by Estee Lauder. Uh, so I'm using their Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I have a whole review on this. I really like this foundation. I haven't worn it in forever and I'm pretty tanned right now. So NC42 is always my shade in MAC, I find, especially with the powder foundation, I don't need to switch up my shades, but with the liquid, I don't know, I've never had to buy another shade in MAC. I feel like it always works for me. Uh, and I think in my video that I did like this last year, I feel like the camera's a little too bright. Um, I have a little more explanation about these brands, like I did a little bit of research on how they were all born, etc, etc, if you're kind of curious about that. But something that's like so Canadian, I feel like, is to like, not pretend you're not Canadian, but just kind of like, 
leave those facts out for some reason. It's like you see it with a lot of Canadian celebrities, you're like, oh, they're Canadian? Canadian YouTubers, they never say they're Canadian. Canadian brands, and I don't understand it. I don't know why. Everything we do is so Americanized. The television we watch, the celebrities, you know, the brands, everything is Americanized. So it would be great to just, I mean, like, obviously, like, we're attached to the United States. We're similar, you know, in some ways to the United States. And the United States has, like, what, 330 million people? We have 35 million people or something like that. So it's bound to happen. But I would just like to, you know, hear a little more about Canada. And like I said, you know, we're not a perfect country. <laughs> and I don't know that people think we're a perfect country, but you kind of, people kind of think like, oh, Canada, and even Canadians, like, oh, we have no problems, everything's fine here, blah, 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 the rest of the world is on fire, not us. But we definitely have our issues. I think like any country, this is, by the way, a Liz Wattier sponge, also a Canadian brand, and I freaking love it. It's such a good sponge. These are not products that I like dragged out to be like, ugh, I need to talk about Canadian brands. These are all things I really, really like, with the exception of a few things that I've just yet to try. So I figured I would try them out with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we forever have ignored or hurt and by we, I mean either the country in general or the government, not myself personally, <laughs> but um, the indigenous people in our country, indigenous women especially, um, you know, and I don't want to get too political, but at the same time, these things are important to talk about. Um, and then you can kind of choose what you want to do with that information or just to acknowledge. Um, so we, we have our issues and, and I'm starting to see in politics the influence of other countries uh, creeping into our politics, which is very scary as well. So it's it's a very interesting time for the world. I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks um, Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. Feels really weird to be talking about this stuff and then like interjecting with what makeup I'm using. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I love Canada. I'm so glad to be from here. At this point in my life, there's nowhere else in the world I would rather live. I wanna travel, but at least being Canadian and having that sweet, sweet Canadian passport gives me lots of opportunities to travel. Uh, and living in Toronto is incredible for travel because most flights out of Canada stop in Toronto. So that way we get a lot of direct flights. Like when I, when you lived in Newfoundland, sometimes you'd have to like fly to Toronto to go backwards to Europe and stuff sometimes. So that I'm very grateful for. Although flying within Canada is a nightmare. It's so expensive. Every time I'm like, oh, I want to see more of Canada. And then I look up flights that cost like $800 to go somewhere. And I'm like, oh, well I could do like, Nems and I did a week in Antigua, all inclusive for a thousand dollars last year. So I'm like, sorry, Lake Louise, you look gorgeous, but Anyway, so I would love to see that improved as well. And the Canadian dollar, my God. Every time we travel, I go broke because the Canadian dollar is so bad. Uh, not all my tools are gonna be Canadian, by the way. This is Sephora collection. I'll tell you one big qualm I have with Canadian um, makeup as well. This is the Nude Sticks uh, Nudies Bloom all over dewy color in Poppy Girl. Uh, Canadian brands, like, not like Nude Sticks, MAC, and some of the ones I'm using here today, but most of the like Canadian exclusive brands do a really poor job with um, shade ranges. They've always had like four or five shades, all in beige, with like no change in sight, which is really frustrating to me because I get requests like, oh, can you review the new Quo Foundation, the new Marcel? And I'm like, I literally can't. <laughs> like, I can't. And I've talked to all of these brands before and I first of all hate having to have that conversation because somebody else who's able to find their shade match just to get to like talk about whatever, but I have to, you know, I have to bring it up, which like it's fine, but like I also don't want to, you know, I'd just rather the shade existed. I don't know if this is getting too serious, but <laughs> that is a frustration of mine. I've seen some improvements, which is exciting, but definitely, definitely, I mean, there's room in every range for it to be better, but Canadian especially. I love this, it's so pretty, wow. Might as well keep the nude sticks thing coming. This is the Hey Honey stick. Um, and if you were curious, I've never really talked about this on my channel, but speaking of cannabis oil, um, nothing in my opinion has changed in Canada since cannabis slash weed 
people get like demonetized for saying this was legalized um it's pretty much the same i haven't seen any differences <laughs> you know people aren't like in the streets losing their minds and like um there's not like drugs everywhere it seems the same to me everybody has very varying opinions on that so i won't get into it but just from my perspective it looks the same looks the same sometimes smells a little different but <laughs> it's pretty much the same so i am going to try a new powder today it is the marcel flawless extreme last long lasting universal powder so this, this says it's translucent so we'll see what happens i'm going to try it on my under eyes and on my face but yeah nems and i are i don't know about nems i'm pretty sure he wants to too but i would really love to do like a little cross canada road trip maybe not like all the way across but like starting in toronto going west because I haven't seen like any of that. I was in Alberta recently with Clarence, but I didn't see anything. Like I was there for like 24 hours. Um, so I'd love to see more of that. Like I grew up on the East Coast in Newfoundland. So that's like an island. It's very like, like much smaller than Toronto. And then I moved to Toronto, but the country is so vast and everything is so different and people are different and life is so different and I just would love to see it. And like I said, flying is so expensive. So I think a cute little road trip would be an awesome way to see the country. I don't think I really explained that I was using the Cover FX concealer under my eyes. They're Canadian born brand as well. And I think one of the people who started that was also responsible for starting MAC, I think. I told that story last year. But um, I'm gonna use the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer. Generally not a fan of like shimmery bronzers, but I like this one and it goes deep enough for me. But yeah, speaking of, Nems is gonna be a Canadian citizen in probably two years. I'm so excited. I can't wait for him to have a Canadian passport. It's one of the best passports in the world to have, I think, when it comes to travel in terms of like the amount of visas you need to get and stuff. There's not many countries or not like a ton of countries. I know like one of the biggest countries we need a visa for is China. And I think Nims doesn't need a visa for that from Serbia because he likes to rub that in. <laughs> I'm like, well, you had to get a visa for Antigua. So I didn't. So yeah, overall, it's just very grateful to be Canadian. And especially in Toronto, you know, again, not perfect, but there's so much diversity here. You stand on the sidewalk and you're standing next to any number of races of people and it's just pretty incredible. And I know a lot of people, when the Raptors just won um, the championship, world, what, not world championship, basketball championship, <laughs> not a fan, obviously, but they won. And I think a lot, I saw people online were kind of surprised at the diversity of people in the stands going to a game. And especially you see that at the soccer games too here in Toronto. It's incredible, um, the, like just how many different types of people there are. It's, uh, it's pretty freaking cool. This brand is called Stellar. I reviewed their foundation a year or two ago now, I guess and it is by a Canadian woman who actually wanted to cater to more medium to deep skin tones because she worked in television. She was a much music VJ, her name's Monica Dole. So that's pretty freaking cool. And I love this blush. I talked about it in my double duty blushes video because it acts as a great blush and highlight. For my highlighter, I will say that Quo has stepped up their game. Like I've always liked their face products, but I really feel like they've stepped up their game in terms of texture and just the modernness of their products. They've really kind of stepped into what I feel like people are looking for now in terms of colors, because their colors were always very fair, very pale, very cool. Uh, and they've come out with some gorgeous, like their holiday highlighting palette was amazing. I love this collection. I think it's really gorgeous. And the highlighter in here is beautiful too. And you can now get their limited edition stuff on Shoppers Drug Mart online as well uh, so I'm gonna use the highlight from this palette also this is not really gonna be like a comp not that I ever do complicated looks but this is gonna be a very simple look today I'm just kind of chilling Nems is working like when you own your own business holidays don't matter <laughs> he's working so I decided to work today too do you also feel like I don't know maybe this is just me and you could be like at a cabin or a pool right now living your best life but I feel like on these kind of holidays I'm like does everybody I know know someone that has a cottage with a lake or has a house with a pool? Because literally everybody is doing that. And I'm just like chilling in my apartment like, okay, not me. <laughs> I mean, I wish. 
only product I'm using that's not Canadian is the Benefit Brow Setter. I don't have any brow gels. I have a bunch of brow pencils. Like I really like the Marcel brow pencil and I do like the Marcel brow gel actually as well. Um, but I just don't have it. I finished it. So I have no other brow gels and I don't really pencil in my brows at the moment. For my mascara, I was just like looking at that. I'm like, what is that up there? But I forgot I put the maple syrup. Um, this is new from Annabelle. It is their classified double agent mascara. So it has a primer and a base in here. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, it's so small. And I like that it's double-ended, but double-ended up here instead of being double-ended on both sides. I guess that doesn't make it double-ended, but the dual part is on one side, which I appreciate. Also, fun Canadian fact. That's not that Canadian. Well, I guess it is, but I'm obsessed with Sphinx cats, like the hairless cats. It's one of my life goals to have one. I want to adopt like a retired breeding cat, like a Roo. She was a retired breeding cat. And apparently they always have really, they have better temperaments and stuff that way. And like, that's why Rue is so sweet is she's like Siamese and a retired breeding cat. And she's, she's just cute as an individual. But anyways, these Sphinx cats that are hairless, like they look like they would come from like ancient Egypt four, 5,000 years ago, but they actually came from Canada. Some woman in like Southern Ontario had a cat that was hairless. Oh my God, this brush is massive. Do you see how big? trying to like hold it for scale um whoa but anyways yeah in like the 60s or 70s and then she just like bred it to be hairless so they actually came from Canada <laughs> which is just so funny to me I want a hairless cat so so bad I do in general like Annabelle and Marcel's mascaras though I wouldn't say that this one is my absolute favorite just because it's kind of messy and I'm messy with my mascara. I'm not going to do a whole video about Canada and skip out on Bite Beauty and this is perfect timing that they launched this collection. Uh, it's called the, uh, I forget what they call the actual collection. But basically they did a collection centered around different cities and Toronto got its own lipstick as Bite Beauty is a Canadian brand. They have so many good products. They've keep discontinuing things that I love, like their lips, their um, lip liners got discontinued, their liquid lipsticks got discontinued. I love both of those. If you see either of them on sale, because I know for sure the liquid liquefied lipsticks are still in some Sephora's for like 12 bucks. Amazing. But I thought I would put on this Toronto lipstick. I haven't actually worn it. And I ended up with two. I meant to mention this in my intro, but you can enter down below <laughs> with two when a lipstick. Uh, and something else that I wanted to touch on which we're now at the end of the video, but just regarding YouTubers ignoring Canada, I just, it really annoys me because you can still do both without polarizing your American audience. Cause most of us have a bigger American audience just because there's more Americans. That's just the way it is. But I feel like, and not to toot my own horn, but I do it in a way that at the very least is just not ignoring Canadians by saying both the Canadian and the American price. Like I get comments from old, old foundation reviews that are like, thank you for saying the Canadian price. Or if I order something online, just a quick second to tell you how I got it to me. A little things like that I think are so helpful as a Canadian consumer because we're so forgotten by American retailers. And of course, an American YouTuber is not gonna be able to give us that perspective. They just don't know. They get things shipped to them with no customs fees and probably pay no delivery shipping or anything like that. And they get it like the next day. So they don't know the struggle, okay? So I just wanted to say that I will never not do that because that was again one of the reasons why i started my channel was i felt like canadians were ignored and i continue to speak to pr and to brands any chance i can to bring lines to canada to to uh, help with the shipping fees something like shoppers drug mart although i may be played a 1.005 percent role in them having it a, like a an e-store i really really asked them for that i'm like we need this we need this and whether or not i played any role or not um when they launched that they brought me in to help spread the word because they knew how much i how important it was to me because it's just frustrating. Um, <laughs> you know, something like the Wet n Wild website, so glad they shipped to Canada, but it's like $40 shipping sometimes for affordable products. Recently I ordered $150 worth of cosmetics from e.l.f. I paid $7 in shipping. That's, you know, that's not a lot, but still, you know, like paying customs at the door, ColourPop has improved. So the more we speak up about it, I think the more brands will realize that we are real consumers who want to spend our money. We like makeup too, just as much as anybody else. So anyways, that's my end rant. 
I love this lipstick, no surprise there, from Bite Beauty. Really, really beautiful shade. And they've got a great uh, a great range of shades, especially if you're one from one of the cities. I think it's a super fun thing to pick up, or if you go on vacation somewhere, could make a great gift as well. So anyways, there is my full face of Canadian makeup. I know this video was all over in terms of my subject matter, but there was a couple things that I felt were important that I wanted to touch on, and then just also general chit chat. And I haven't filmed in a little while, so I'm feeling really chatty. I definitely am getting really sweaty though. Like, I don't know if that's just me or what. That foundation is really, really good. I have a whole review and dump a glass of water on my face, but for some reason, sometimes the lights and my hair really gets, uh, really gets me sweaty. And if you're curious, this is, uh, if you saw my e.l.f. haul a little while back, I completely air dried my hair with no product in it, just out of curiosity to kind of see what my, what my actual curl pattern was. And today I completely air dried it and all I put in was maybe a teaspoon of avocado oil. And I really like the look. It's a super soft curl. It's not super defined, but again, it was just so much easier than putting a bunch of product in my hair and I was just kind of curious to see how it would turn out. So anyways, that's a complete side note. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you are Canadian, what province and city are you, you're from. If you are not Canadian, let me know where you're from anyways. I love to know and I'm always looking for new places to visit. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!